Good morning iFam and welcome back to iFam Extras and Sundays with Sarah. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to be doing this today. I haven't done a Sunday with Sarah for ages and it's not just that I couldn't be bothered doing it, there is a reason if you're not part of our main channel, The Ingham Family, I don't actually think I've got any viewers that watch this channel and not our main channel but if you are one then comment down below and let me know because I'm really interested to know if people have stumbled across this channel and don't know that we have a main channel the Ingham family anyway if you watch this channel and not our main channel then you may not know that just before Christmas I think it was the 20th or the 22nd something like that I actually like a clown broke my radius and my ulna so the two main bones that run down the side of your arms I snapped them both thinking I was good doing a skiing experience at Stockeld Park it was a fail <laughs> anyway due to that I couldn't really do many Sundays with Sarah over the Christmas period just because I can't edit I couldn't use the my arm and it was just so painful and swollen that I just I couldn't do it basically and obviously the Christmas period for our channel was really busy so that took up a lot of our time and basically that's the reason that I haven't really done many Sundays with Sarah throughout December however despite still having this pot on my fingers are now movable the swellings kind of a little bit still there but it's mainly gone down and it's not hurting as much because it started to heal I think I'm having my pot taken off on the 1st of February right at the very start and right before a very very exciting half term I wish I could tell you guys what it is but it's a surprise for the girls I best not say that too loud and I know some of the girls friends watch this channel and watch our main channel and I don't want it ruining for them but September half term is probably going to be the most exciting half term I've ever had and I cannot wait anyway on to today's video. Over the last couple of weeks, maybe, maybe longer, quite a lot of you guys have been asking about my beauty products, my makeup, what is it that I wear, what do I love, can I recommend a mascara, can I recommend a lipstick, and things like that. And I thought, well to be honest, the only reason I haven't kind of done a vlog on this before is because I am not a makeup expert I have no idea what I'm doing I've never done tutorials or courses or anything like that regarding makeup I'm completely self-taught hence why it's not perfect and I sometimes feel like when you do videos on things like this people who do know what they're talking about get really offended and, and leave the comment section a little bit like you're doing it wrong what are you talking about that's not the brush you're supposed to use and so i've been a little bit nervous to do any sort of make makeup tutorial or anything like that however i've and also the fact that i've not really been a big makeup person so although i wear makeup i'm not really bothered what i wear it's not like specific brands or anything like that however over the last I'd probably say four to six months I've really really taken an interest in certain brands and just more more interested in makeup basically and so I thought today for my first Sunday with Sarah I apologize males boys who watch our channel you're probably not going to want to watch this video but the girls might like it so <laughs> I thought I would do for you my favorite makeup items that I'm using right now and show you what I'm using show you what mascara I use because I know a lot of people have been commenting on that and and yeah that's it so I'm going to show you guys what makeup I'm using and what are my favorite items so I'm going to start with what I put on first and that's foundation I'm not really unlucky when it comes to skin I'm 33 this year how am I 33 this year? I feel 15. No joke. And I feel like my skin's quite good for my age. I'm not saying that I'm old or anything like that. I know I'm not. But I don't have like bad breakouts or like anything that I need feel I need to cover up with like heavy duty concealers or anything like that. Um, so I don't tend to wear concealers and things. And I'm not bothered with my foundation about it being a really expensive foundation because I need uber thick coverage or anything like that. I actually quite prefer lighter type foundations that don't feel too cloggy on your skin 
And my favourite high street, I only wear high street ones. My favourite one is actually a Rimmel one that I've run out of and this one which I'm actually using today. So it's this bourgeois one, I always pronounce it wrong so if I pronounce that wrong I apologise. But it's a healthy glow mix. And it says that it's got 16 hour coverage. I don't tend to need to top it up at all throughout the day and even if I did I wouldn't because I'm a mum and I don't have time for makeup top ups. It's actually mixed with vitamins and things like that and I just really like it. It feels so light on my skin and what shade do I use it in? I actually don't know what shade this is but I tend to go for like natural light beige or light sand and those type of shades. Oh hang on. Oh, this is actually a dark beige, and I know why this is a dark beige, because I bought this in the airport on our way to Mallorca, I think, in summer. So I probably went for the darker beige because I had a bit of a tan, but as you can see, it's still not too bad on my skin right now. One other one that I sometimes use on nights out, or things where I want it a little bit more, probably a little bit more coverage, is this Benefit Hello Flawless one. I got this recently, I think it was just before Christmas from the Trafford Centre and I do really like this one too but I do find this one a little bit more heavy on my skin so I prefer for everyday wear the bourgeois one but this one like for nights out. For blusher and bronzer I love these two from Benefit. And I don't know about you guys, if anybody's got this, comment down below and let me know. It smells ah. Uh, amazing. I can't even explain what it smells like. It's so fresh and floral and just delicious and every single day when I put it on, oh my goodness, I absolutely love it and now my makeup brush actually smells of this blush and it's so nice. This is kind of like a pinky peachy colour and I just find it really complements like my skin tone and I really like it. So I wear that as a blush and then this bronzer I tend to use as like just kind of under here. Not even going to say contour because I'm the worst person in the world at trying to do that. Whenever I try, I seriously end up with just bright brown streaks up my face that just looks absolutely ridiculous. I've only recently started wearing highlighter because, I don't know, I guess like with the eyebrows I was just super late on the bandwagon and I've just only recently started wearing it and the two that I'm wearing at the moment is this Benefit one. This is kind of a liquid highlighter or um, a cream highlighter. So it's basically like a, a, a lip balm and you just plop it on your cheeks like that and I find that this one is less glittery than most. This one's more of a shine if that makes sense but I really like it and it is quite... Um, pigmented I could I think you could say so you don't need to put a lot on like literally you can't go like that because you'll end up with a big white line you just pat it on like this and then on the other end there's a little brush but I don't tend to use that because it rubs off the rest of your makeup that you've got on but yeah I really like that one and then the other one I'm using at the moment is and I've got this one on today actually but I don't tend to put that much on so I don't know if you can see it but it's kind of here. <laughs> this one is really glittery. It's an Urban Decay one and let me see if you can see it. This does come in a couple of different shades but I just really like this one. I actually bought this at the till when I was in Selfridges, Selfridges in Manchester a few weeks before Christmas. I was at the till paying for an eyeshadow palette which I'll show you in a moment and I saw that and I was like I really like that but that one is really glittery. Eyeshadows is probably the main thing that I have developed an interest in over the last few months and I am loving trying out so many different shades. They're not kind of massive colours like really bright colours but I've tried out pink, not pinks, reds like maroons, purples, greens, browns and I've been loving trying out all the different colour shades and loving reading your comments because you guys have noticed and you've been commenting on our main video saying I love that colour you've got on today or I preferred the brown that you had on the other day and things like that and it's one of the things that I really 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 loved doing over the last few months and I have purchased quite a lot of make um, eyeshadow palettes since summertime and it's just a big change for me because 
I think it, before that I only actually had one eyeshadow palette and I very very rarely wore it so I'm very very excited to show you guys one of them one of my favorites is this you can see it's kind of mirror affected but it's an urban decay one let me see if I can get this out without hurting my broken arm it pulls out of this casing and here are oh <laughs> double me here are the colors so we've got like natural colors neutral colors down this side and then on this side we've got more pigmented bright colors and i'm really loving this one here i've not quite been as daring with like the bright blues just yet but these colors are so pigmented like i'm i've always been used to having to scrub my eyeshadow brush to get any color out but honestly you just have to tap this and it comes out so bright because I've got my pot and I can't wash my hands as easily otherwise I would swatch all of these colors for you but I will show you one so I've just touched the red color can you see how pigmented that is I didn't scrub my finger in it or anything, I literally just touched it and that's how much it comes out. It's awesome, it's a really good palette and definitely one that I'm tending to reach for a lot more. This next one is actually probably my favourite and I bought this after a recommendation on a Facebook beauty group that I'm on and loads of people were raving about how amazing this eyeshadow is. So I thought, I'll treat myself, I'll buy one and I'll see how it goes and it's this Nubian one, it's the Nubian 2. Guys, this is my favourite eyeshadow palette I've ever bought in my whole life. It's beautiful. It comes in, I think, a few different styles. It's a bit grubby right now. But guys, look at these colours. Beautiful. And like with the Urban Decay, they're really pigmented. You don't need to scrub your brush in them really hard to get colour out. Let's see, I'll swatch. Swatch? Is it swatch or switch? It's swatch. I'll switch a green one just for you guys. I'll just touch it slightly. Watch how much this comes out. Like seriously, look at that. They're so pigmented and just absolutely gorgeous. So those two eyeshadow palettes are definitely ones that I would recommend, but they are they're not massively expensive, but they are more expensive than what you might pay in somewhere like Superdrug. And I know that some people are on a little bit more of a budget than others for various reasons. So I thought I'd show you one from Superdrug, which I am loving almost as much as the other ones. And I do tend to reach for this quite a lot. It's this Revolution one. And I can't even tell you how much amazing value these are. I've got this in this silver colour. I've also got it in a gold colour and I've also got it in like a coppery rose gold colour. That's how much I love them. And these are £10 from Superdrug. So super good value. Look how beautiful they are. They come with a big mirror, which is awesome. And again, these ones are really pigmented. I will just swatch this one for you. So as you can see, those ones are really pigmented as well and there's some really, really nice colours. And like I said before, they do come in three different palettes. So you can get this one and there's another two as well. And they're only £10, so I would definitely recommend those. I get a lot of questions regarding my eyelashes. Are they fake? Are they stuck on? Are they real? If they're real, what mascara do you use? And my eyelashes are real. I feel like I got quite lucky with eyelashes because my mum literally had none. My sisters are not too bad she doesn't tend to wear mascara but my eyelashes are quite long and the mascaras that I use are surprisingly super cheap ones they're like four pound from B&M but you can get them from Superdrug as well and it's these ones the Maybelline New York Last, Sens La 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 <laughs> Last Sensational and then oh and then this one mega plush they've both got super different brushes this one's actually running out at the moment but it's a got a really big fat bushy brush which i love and then the last sen i can't say that lash sensation one has kind of one of those rubber brushes that are really thin and shaped but they're really really good and they're one of my favorite well they are my favorite mascaras i also use the benefit they are real 
but I tend to buy that only when I go to the airport and get it on duty free because for the price difference I feel like these make my eyelashes stand up and look nice just as good finally lipsticks now I could talk to you all day about lipsticks but this video is probably going to be really long already and everyone Chris and the girls are just waiting for me as we're about to set off to take Esme to a birthday party so I need to be quick I have recently found these bourgeois 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 metallic lip creams I've got this one on today I actually have this in four shades I think I just thought I'd show you this one because it's the one that I've got on today and I love it they feel so nice on your lips and they last for ages and they're from Superdrug so you can get them for quite cheap and I really recommend these I also love the Barry M metallic colors um they tend to they go on your lips in like a metallic and then they dry as a matte effect and I love matte effect lips so I'm really loving these Barry M lip glosses too this is actually called matte liquid lip paint and I love it and then the final thing for my lips which is actually a recent find I only had these delivered like a week ago but I am in love I can't believe how moisturizing they feel on my lips and it's just something that I'm reaching for a lot lately I just jumped on my skin because I almost dropped one and that's these Tarte Cosmetics I don't even know what you'd call them they're like lip crayons and I am completely completely in love with them they're so pretty and I'll just show you one of them I'll show you this one and you can push them up so they get loads in there so I'm guessing these will last me a long long time but honestly the one thing that I found about these are how nice they feel on your lips and how easy they are to apply I am in love with them and I'm so glad that I managed to find them in the sale I think that's it I've pretty much covered everything that I wear what I tend to go for on a day-to-day -day basis and I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's slightly different to the ones that I usually do but comment down below if you enjoyed it what was your favorite item do you have any of these and do you recommend them and give me ideas also on what you would like me to do for next week's Sunday with Sarah I know this is a super quick end into this video but like I just said Chris and the girls are literally like we need to go we need to go so I'm going to have to give you a very quick goodbye but thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next week with another Sunday with Sarah goodbye guys Mwah.